Welcome back to Electrology. Today, we are diving into a crucial component of modern power systems, Power Line Carrier Communication or PLCC. This technology is essential for data transmission, protection and control in transmission lines. If you want to learn how substations communicate and protect each other over high voltage lines, stay tuned. Before we dive in, don't forget to hit the thanks button if you enjoy our content and consider becoming a member by clicking the join button to support the channel and unlock exclusive perks. PLCC uses high frequency carrier currents ranging between 80 to 500 kilohertz to transmit data over transmission lines. This method is widely used for telemetry, telecontrol and most importantly protection relaying in power systems. PLCC is essential for quick data transfer and communication between substations, especially during faults. Let's understand how this works in fault situations. Imagine a fault occurs in a transmission line. The relays at both ends, station 1 and station 2, must trip their breakers to isolate the fault. But if only one breaker opens, the fault will not be fully cleared. In this situation, the relay at station 1 detects the fault and sends a direct trip signal through the PLCC to the relay at station 2. This trip signal is crucial to ensure that the breaker at station 2 also opens, isolating the fault entirely. Aside from the direct trip signal, PLCC also transmits signals for auto reclosure to ensure quick restoration of the system. Now, let's break down the main components of a power line carrier communication or PLCC system. Each part plays a vital role in the operation and protection of the power system. Coupling Capacitor or Capacitive Voltage Transformer The coupling capacitor connects the carrier equipment to the transmission line. It offers low impedance to high frequency carrier signals while providing high impedance to the 50 Hz power frequency. This allows the carrier frequency signal to safely enter the PLCC equipment. To make the circuit purely resistive, an inductor is added in series with the capacitor, forming a resonant circuit that reduces reactive power. Wave Trap Placed after the capacitive voltage transformer, the wave trap is essentially a choke coil. It prevents high-frequency carrier signals from entering the substation by offering high impedance to those signals, while still allowing the 50 Hz power frequency to pass. This ensures that the communication signals stay on the transmission line where they belong. Transmitters and receivers. The transmitters and receivers handle the sending and receiving of carrier signals. They are typically mounted in a rack or cabinet in the control room, while the line tuner, which matches the transmission line's characteristics, is placed outside in the switchyard. The two are connected by a fiber optic or coaxial cable, which shields the signal from noise and interference. Hybrids and filters. Hybrids are circuits that allow two or more transmitters to connect to one coaxial cable without causing interference or intermodulation distortion. They isolate the signals from different transmitters and in some cases from receivers, ensuring that the signals are clear and unaffected by one another. Line Matching Unit or LMU The Line Matching Unit or LMU is a composite device that includes a drain coil, isolation transformer, tuning device and earth switch. The LMU connects audio and radio frequency signals to the PLCC terminal and also protects the PLCC equipment from overvoltages caused by transients in the power system. Its tuning device, consisting of RLC circuits, acts as a filter, allowing only the desired frequencies to pass. PLCC plays a vital role in power systems beyond protection. Its applications include carrier protection, Relaying. Relays can send inter-trip commands to trip breakers at both ends of a line during a fault. Station-to-station -station communication. PLCC enables direct communication between operating personnel at different substations. Telemetry and remote monitoring. Electrical quantities like power, voltage and reactive power are telemetered to control centers for real-time monitoring. PLCC is a cornerstone of modern power systems, ensuring safety, communication, and reliability. From tripping breakers during faults to enabling efficient communication between stations, PLCC keeps the grid running smoothly. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider hitting the thanks button 
and don't forget to join the channel to get access to exclusive perks. Subscribe to Electrology for more insights into electrical engineering and power systems.